Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay, I'm done I'm done coping. Um So let me explain what a little bit of this is. So I have done Bob Ross Animal Crossing. But when I thought about it and I was like, well what if there are other ways I could make Bob Ross be forced into, you know. Because obviously, <clears throat> I'm just <clears throat> ripping this off, <clears throat> off Joel. Because <clears throat> fuck it. <laughs> I, I call it extending. But um, I had to scour the internet archive for a copy. That's right. A, a copy of... Uh, of... Uh, an old copy of fucking, um, of MS Paint. But not just any old copy, right? I, I looked for the oldest copy that I could fucking find. One of the oldest copies. And not, no, what, what, better, what better version of MS Paint than, uh, than, uh, you know, uh, Paint 3.1? Oh, even better. Even better. Here, let me enlighten you. That's not what I was talking about. God damn it. <laughs> Discard that. Just, just, fuck. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, let me just throw my stream manager. That's it. <laughs> that, that, that's that. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. But what, what better copy, right? Hold on. <laughs> god, god, god damn it. Hold on, where... Does it not want to capture? Will it not let me capture? Really? Really? Huh. That's interesting. Huh. Well, hello, Stream Dashboard. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. I guess I have to do it this way. Fucking no. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Man, you want... There we go. Oh, look. There. See, now, now it's opening up. MS Paint. There we go. Yep. That's it. Yep. All right. I know it's going to be like, oh my God, August. No, you didn't. I, I did. I did the thing. I went on the Internet Archive. And I found the original MS Paint. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. I found the original MS fucking paint. Now, before I begin, I've never really, like, you know, used the original MS paint. I've actually used MS paint for my sprites. However, <laughs> I've never used this version. The one that I'm very much accustomed to, by the way, is the Windows 7 one. That doesn't look like paint from M3.1. That's because it's not. It's from paint from Bimbo's 98, baby. That's why. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> this is what, oh, this is going to be stupid. This is going to suck. I'm going to pull up, right? I, I, <laughs> was paint 98 well I'm glad one of us thought about that and you were close heck we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use the default colors, okay? And we're gonna draw. 
gonna we're gonna we're gonna draw Okay, we're <laughs> I'm gonna let Bob Ross teach us the magic of Windows 98. <laughs> Here, you know what? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw Pinelli real quick. I wanna, I wanna draw. I wanna. <laughs> a little gremlin, I swear to god. Be a little fucking gremlin! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, here. Let, let, let's, let, let's be serious now. Let's... Let, let, <laughs> let's do this. Let, let's get this shit over with. Oh my god. Here. Bob Ross. Um, which one am I gonna do? I think I'm going to do Pastel Skies first. Here, let, let, let's... Let, let's help, let's help August real quick figure out how to... There we go. There we go. Okay. August is going to have a bad time setting this up. <laughs> well, shit, Bob. You didn't have to laugh at me like that. Fucking Christ. Let, let, let's make August feel subconscious even more. Anyway. <laughs> Here. Alt-A. Why do you say pastel? Well, I'm not going to be the weird fucking American who says pastel. Okay. Here, I'm hoping, right? I'm hoping. I won't be able to see OBS chat, so I'm hoping. Can you see that? Also, yes. Okay. All right. I'm so glad you could join me today. I've got a couple of my little friends here, a couple of little baby squirrels. Today I have a little gray squirrel right here. This is a little gray squirrel, and the other one's a fox squirrel. They're just little babies, well, three or four weeks old. Aren't they precious, though? Look at those squirrels. I just adore these little creatures. Look, look at I'd those fucking squirrels. Started here. Look. Hi, guy. How you fellers What's doing up? Today? Oh, oh my God! Oh, they're so adorable. Else. There. All right. All right, Bob. This is this is a challenge for me. I, I gotta I gotta maintain two screens and a chat. And that's the same way they'll be when they grow up. Okay. I guess we have to go to work, guys. Hey, you ready to go to work? Okay. Tell you what. Let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. While they're doing that, and I'll set these little fellas down. Come on. You ready to go? Isn't he precious? I won't be able to read you guys. I'm sorry. Go to work. Alrighty. This is this is this is. I legit have to look I've at this now. On the canvas, so we can just we we'll do a fantastic little painting today. I have my standard old pre-stretched right. double prime canvas, and I've covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of the liquid white. 
Liquid so white. The, the whole so screen is white, go, Bob. So let's just have fun today. Let's start it's literally painting. all white. Indian yellow. Let's just do a painting that's fun. I'm going to take a little Indian yellow. And just here, go up. here. Before I do this chat, here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the stream manager. And then I'm going to... I'm going to do this. Ready? Boom. I can read you guys now. Kinda. Kinda, sorta. Just throw you guys, like, to the corner here. There you go. Alright. Here, make little crisscross strokes. And start like so. The Indian yellow, as with every color we use, is mixing with the liquid white. And it allows us to literally okay. blend color right on the canvas. Okay, Bob. You want, you want some white? Right you want some yellow? That. You want some piss baby yellow? I got right you. In there. I got like you. That. All there is to it. This baby yellow. These little crisscross strokes make it much easier to blend color together than making stripes. So just use little crisscross strokes. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll use a little alizarin crimson. Red? We'll you just want use red. Some warm colors back here in the background. I hope that's red. Alizarin crimson. It's a I hope this is red. Beautiful. It, this is warm, not red. Oh fuck. Reddish color. There. Oh god, this isn't. Like and we just let that blend red. right in. That's red. Just oh, oh, God. Okay. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> All right. Now, I think we can get away with it. I just go into mm -hmm. a little bit of phthalo blue. The phthalo Dude, blue that was doo -doo so brown. much than the crimson that we won't even have to clean the brush. We can just go right into it. Uh-huh. And let's go up in here. Let's start on the very top, making little, little crisscross strokes again. Little X's. And we'll paint the entire... Remainder I'm making the, the pride flag right now. A little bit of that, this is what this Just feels like. It. I'm making the bring pride it down flag. The crimson and stop. <laughs> Once again, the blue is so much stronger than the crimson. It'll just eat up all the crimson in your world. They say red and there. blue don't go together. Maybe in our world, unless you're there, Spoder Man. There's a little stringy cloud that lives out here. So just tap in a little cloud shape. Up. Wherever you want. Okay, I'm tapping, Bob. Matter. I'm tap. I'm tapping that that, that red shit. Around, have a good time. That don't sound. Maybe. That don't, that don't maybe quote me on that. Right there. I don't know. You make the decision. Now. Uh -huh. We'll take a clean. Dry Beat the devil out of it. Okay. We just blend all this together. The DJ and Pride flag. Very gently. Three hairs uh -huh. and some air. Just blend it together. I I'm blending. And that I'm easy. Blending. We have a fantastic little sky. Blending together, Bob. Tell you what, we have that brush. It's got a little blue on it. Let's just take, maybe we'll have a little water down here. A little water? Then maybe we won't. But water? Let's just put a little blue in to see what happens. Because we don't care. Want some water? Know, we don't make mistakes. Bob, I don't, I don't know how you feel about water. Why water? So anything that happens here, we can live with it. We don't care. That's the beauty of this. Or the joy of it. There. Not like that. That's all we're looking for. Okay. All right. Now I get to clean a brush. Really oh, you want the fun, entire thing? The whole okay, I, I can do that. Entire Just thing is water. Excess. Beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it. That really is fun. I have people that write and say they have no desire to ever paint, but they've just went out and bought them a brush so they can beat it because it makes them feel better. <laughs> it is nothing wrong with that. Let's take a little black, a little bit of blue, and be right back, get a little white. A little white? I'm looking for a a light color, predominantly blue. Okay. Maybe even a little lighter. It's our world, okay. so we can make it any shade we want. Cut off a little roll of paint. About like that. Okay, so like like this color, basically. Maybe. This color yeah. right here. I got you. We back in here. That lives. Okay. Just a little hill, a little mountain. Far away. Quiet little mountain. He just... He just this is not a mountain, Bob. A good time all this is, day. My 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 hand strokes are not meant for this. About like it. Bob, Bob. Take these are not. Brush, grab that color and pull it. Pull it. Bob, because Bob. Those don't those don't words you talk about. Move color. We don't we don't use those words, Bob. We can make it move. Making it move. Yeah. Just tap it. I want to I want to miss the base of this. Just right on that, add a little white to it. I want it to be very soft. Very, very soft. 
It's like it's sort of floating around in the mist far away. Uh -huh. There. That's about all we're looking for in that one. Now maybe, yeah. Maybe there's several different planes. I like, several? I like a lot of distance. Several? Paintings, so I have a lot of planes Bob, and paintings. I can barely handle one. Let's take Prussian what blue. The fuck? Some black. The black. Lizard and crimson. Put Some a little red. Van Dyke in there too. A little Van Dyke brown doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm here in black. I like it. Pull it out flat. Get our little roll of paint. Uh huh. And maybe right under here somewhere, maybe there's a a little mountain that lives right there. Just a just a nice little mountain. A little friendly guy. A little friendly there. guy, huh? Put in a basic shape. Uh, we call those we call those people we could facts. Care less what's happening anywhere else in this mountain? Once again, grab our two-inch brush and pull that. I want it to just disappear over there in the mist somewhere. We don't even know where it goes. I don't think we care. It doesn't matter in our. You don't world. care, Bob. Well, look, Bob, what if someone broke your kneecaps? Would you care then? Let's take a little titanium white. I'm gonna put the least little touch of bright red in it. Okay. Since there's some pink in the sky. Maybe there's a hint okay. of pink in our mountain color. A little roll of paint. Okay. Let's go up in here and touch. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. Just let it float. Let it okay. play very gently. Uh. Very, very gently. Now then, a little bit of white and blue mixed together. I'm using a little bit of little blue in there a little black in it a little tiny blue. little paint okay go back in here okay put the indication of a few little shadows on these little mountains that live back here okay that's about all we're looking for a little white okay make sure that brush is clean dry now i want to create mist down at the base so tap tap the mountain following the angles. Most important that you follow those angles that you put in there over here. Follow this direction. Now, very lightly, just graze it. Lift it. Lift it. That takes Lift out it. all the little tap marks. Sounds like sex, together. Bob. I, I don't know how I feel about having sex in my heart. That easy. Oh, wait. That wait a minute. Wait a minute. I I just had a big brain fucking little, moment. Jesus. Same little blue color on it. Just a little. Back up in here. Maybe at the base of our mountain. Just touch. Just touch? Just touch like that. Da, just da, da, touch. Da, 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 okay, just just a little bit touching. Down. Okay. Snap it up. By that touch, just give it a quick little upward lift. La da 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 da. And a little down. This looks horrible. <laughs> Started to say a downward lift, but I guess that's a contradiction of words. And very lightly go across the bottom. I'll make it a little bit darker right at the base so it stands out. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. Now, a little liquid white on the knife. Pull it out flat. Uh -huh. Bright red in that, too. Just enough. Red. Just enough to give it a little, little pink. A little red. Too, if you look real Bob. close, I have to really look for it. Bob, we don't need to talk about our murders. A little water line far away. Far, far away. There. Something about like that. Let's build a big mountain. Oob RSS. Going back to that dark color we had. Pull the paint out flat. Once again, our little roll of paint lives right on the edge here. And let's come right up in here. Let's get this is a bravery test. Maybe what the heck? There's a big mountain. Bob, uh, another one? He really? Lives. Maybe he's got an old jagged arm that sticks out like that. Mountains grow ever which way. Have fun with them. One of the well, yeah, Bob, because they're they're basically like you know, technique. beating each other up. And I've painted hundreds of mountains in the many shows that we've made, and you know, people still write and say, "Do more mountains, Bob." I like the mountains, my favorite. There. But any of these paintings that we do here, if you don't want the mountains in them, leave them out. You can do the painting without having the mountain in it. It's no big deal. You can do anything here. Do anything, anything that you want to do. Right here. That you. This truly is your world. 
Yeah. I'm just blending that out again. Like so, maybe. Let's get crazy. Maybe this. Yeah, why not? Why not? Just use that mountain color. A mountain color? Right across and there's a the fuck is a mountain color, Bob? Somewhere. Lift up, make it look like little, little trees right there. See? 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 Easy. You can do this. You can do this. You do not have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth to be a pretty good painter. So you're saying I can have pink mountains. You okay. Can do this. Good to know, Bob. Maybe. Let's get crazier. Crazier? Maybe there's another little pond Bob, here. Bob, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Crazier. Something like that. All you gotta do is pull straight down with a little bit of color and then go across just enough to give it a watery sheen. Sometimes you can take a little bit of white. Don't do this too much though, just a little. You can put a little, like a little shine on the water. <sighs> Easy, not too much, not too much. Just enough to <sighs> give it a, give it a nice shimmer. You can overdo. Bob, when you say shit like that, you, you sound- overdo easy. Cause it gets good and you don't want to stop. Need to chill the fuck out. We'll just have to decide where all these things live. Okay, we need some. This is uh highlights on this mountain. <sighs> Already way ahead of you, Bob. Color we got I'm going. way ahead of you. Good, because I'm there. Big mountain, strong mountain. Want him to have a lot of character. We don't like wimpy little mountains. We like big mountains. And the Marines really taught you how to like really like big strong characters, huh, Bob? That's all right. You know, if Bob was alive today, he probably would be making big strong characters. By the way, I'm just saying. No pressure. I know you get tired of hearing me say that, but over and over and over again, I get letters from people saying that I'm having trouble making making the snow break on the mountain here. Normally, it's one of two things: you're applying too much pressure. Or you're using a paint that's not thick enough. I'll tell you what, let's have a little shadow. Not thick here. enough. Do you like it strong or do you like them Very thick, dry, Bob? Dry paint. I can't say that enough times either. It's most important. It really does make a difference. There. Maybe. Look here. Look here. Watch. Maybe there's a little. Mm, right there. I don't know. You decide little place for the mountain goat to walk around the mountain there. He needs a little place like that. Don't laugh. Yeah. He likes to go on a little Sunday hike, come around the mountain, see what's on the other side. There. And just begin playing with highlights and shadows and adding them in wherever. Wherever you think they should be. There's one right there. By putting that shadow in it, pops that up, makes it look big, strong. All right. Let's take a two-inch brush, and once again, once again, I want to create the illusion of mist down here. This Just is by tapping. This is uh. There. Maybe. Maybe yeah. There we go. Maybe there's a mm -hmm. little tree that lives right down here. The whole little forest lives right at the edge of this mountain. Comes down. Do this in layers if you want to put like, like there's little, little tree ranges and then maybe, maybe uh, it comes right on down like that. Uh, Whatever. And now I'm using my, my bullshit tactics. Other so you can just it. go on and on and on and create all kind of depth and distance in your world. That's what makes it so fantastic. There are no limits to this. Uh huh. There. I'm like a few steps ahead of Bob limited. right now. You're limited only by your imagination. I'm like two steps ahead of Bob practice. now. <laughs> I just realized this. Daytona Beach, Florida. We had a reunion of all of our instructors, and over 150 instructors came from all over the world. All over the world. Even, even my first. 
certified Japanese instructor Misuko. Who brought? Uh, oh, oh, I see what you did there, Snakey. I see what you did there. We have people from you just didn't put the O. Oh. Canada. Boy, the joy of painting is universal, isn't it? All right. Now. But we spent a whole week in Daytona Beach, and we painted together, and we had a good time. Boy, we had a lot of fun. And then we went to, we went to New Smyrna Beach. All of our instructors went out and painted. The public was invited. We spent a whole day out in the park painting. We all got sunburned. Even my ball spot on top of my head got burned. There, but we had a, we had a lot of fun. Okay, I'm just wiping the knife on a, on a paper towel here. Let's take Prussian blue, black, brown, alizarin what? crimson, and throw in some sap what? green. Well, we got a conglomeration going there. What what are we what are we All doing, Bob? Colors, basically. Let me wipe what are we doing? Light. What the fuck are we doing? And you know me. Shoot, I like them trees. Let's do a tree. A you tree? No! Bob! Bob! No! A lot of paint. No! <laughs> Bob, paint. stop it! No! My little squirrels no trees! Tree to live in. No That's trees, please! I beg you, no trees. Right oh, oh no, no. Bob, please. Tree. No. Lives in your fan brush. There they are. Just let them pop right out. Let them pop right out. A little more paint. When you're going over, like here, where there's a lot of paint already on the canvas, you may have to put a little, a little, not much, a little bit of paint thinner on your brush and go through the paint. Because our golden rule, a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. So if you thin this, you can go right over the top of the other without it mixing totally together. No. And you know, if your doll mixes together, you end up you end up being a mud mixer. And all of us who This is not okay, Bob. Bob, not another tree. Mud. Oh. There. Uh, please. Boy, I'm covering up most of my mountain here. I didn't mean to do all that, but Why? Just, just why? One more. One more. One more little tree lives right out here. Whatever. A small Right here, hey, maybe. he's like he's like depressingly I know, I know, drooping. I know, I know. Sometimes we get crazy here. He's like the special trees from maybe, maybe. from a monument mythos. Maybe this is a. Maybe we're up high looking down. Let's take some of that and pull it over. There's another button. Maybe it comes. Maybe it comes all the way around. I don't know. Just pick up some of that tree color. There. You just want it all Let's around. Let's just fill this in. You could do this with a paint roller. It doesn't uh, matter. It really doesn't matter. But it's a super way to practice. Do it. Do it this way, and you get a little practice. Practice. There. Don't waste. Don't waste your strokes. There we are. Now, let's take that brush we made the trees with. The color still on it. I'm go right through. Cad yellow, yellow ochre, little Indian. A yellow. little bit of yellow. Oh no. Bob, and no, because it has blue and black. Bob, I don't need yellow, yellow in my let's fucking scenery. And let's put some highlights right on our trees. There they go. Oh, uh, okay. They gotta make those little noises. Some over here. Just a few. Just a few. Big tree needs some too. Big old tree needs some. There. A little bit back in here too. Just some indications. Now, I know. Changed my mind. <laughs> you can do that. It's your work. Everyone needs a little piece of cleaner, you piss. Brown, mix them together. <laughs> we need some big rocks that live back in here. So so we'll rocks, Bob. Put some little doers in here like that. We don't know what the rock is cooking, Bob. Take a little white, a little bit of that brown that we was using. Mix it together, make a little highlight color, and barely touch. Barely touch. White and brown, or brown and white. This will put grass over the top, and some of these will show through, and it'll look like little rocks that live out here. There. Okay. Use a two-inch brush tapped right into a little of that same color. Just sap green, yellow, all those colors. And let's just begin tapping in the indication of all kinds of little land areas. A little bit of moss? Right over these rocks. If a piss yellow? Here, just let them hang right over. I'm, I, I, got, I got you, Bob. Yeah, I can get right you some over. piss yellow. Here. This is where you create 
the lay of the land or the the way the the land flows. This is how the world works, Bob. It's to be Sometimes pissed or be pissed right on. See? Maybe it comes right on down. Out like that. And it creates a whole different plane. Whole different a whole different plane of being pissed this. on. Yeah. What a scenery yeah. pisser. You know? Oh hi Twix. I didn't All see right. you underneath me. There. Just I'm tap almost. though. Don't let the brush slide. Just tap. Just tap. There. Isn't that a super way of making little grassy areas? I like that a lot. I Good. like that a lot. There. Good. Okay. Yeah, it comes right over. A little touch of the bright red now and then too. Not much bright red. Just enough. Uh huh. Dull the color. I'll touch up this red. water real quick. Red and green make brown so it dulls. There. See there? All kinds of little doers. But now the little rocks still look like they're in there. That's all there is to it. And you can put little uh -huh. highlights. Sometimes I dip the brush into a very small amount of liquid white. Because liquid that, white. It brightens, the, it brightens the color and it makes it thinner so it'll stick right over the top. See that little ridge of paint right there? We're pushing. There's one just like it on the brush. Uh-huh. I see what so you're doing here, bud. Try to get that. Now we'll go up here and use that little ridge of paint. Uh-huh. Maybe our light's coming through here. We want to sparkle that edge. See? We're going to sparkle, sparkle the edges? Little yes. Parts of it. But don't sparkle it all. If you sparkle it all, then it loses it loses its sharpness too much. Just a little. Just think where light would zing through there and play. Sometimes I even I even take maybe a little bit of pure white and put on there. Just to brighten it, but not very often. Like it. Light zinging through there, maybe over here it'd be a little brighter too. Just play with it like that. Liquid this white, it's calm. Nice <laughs> it's very easy. Yes. You get a lot of practice with, with just about all the equipment. You get to do mountains, you get to do all of the the little foothills. And if there's a mm -hmm. secret to this style uh -huh. of painting, or any style of painting, it doesn't matter. It's just practice. That's all. Just practice. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. So you can lift up and uh -huh. like some little grassy areas back in there. Uh -huh. Wherever you want. Shoot. I think that's about it. Uh -huh. that's a pretty nice little painting. Let's sign this one. Sign it? Let's take a little paint thinner. Now, I use bright red, but you use any color you want. See? See how thin that is? It's almost like ink. Turn the bristles. I'm still getting hey, a lot I'm of gonna, I'm, gonna... I'm having trouble signing the painting, making the paint thinner. It's almost uh -huh. like ink. A lot of paint. Let's go up in here. Decide where you want to sign the painting. And all you have to do then, if the paint's thin enough, it will literally just flow right over top of the other paint. There we go. This, and I'm lucky. I have a very short name, so it didn't take but a second. And that's about all you have to do. I really hope you've enjoyed not only this painting, but seeing my little squirrels. Well, thank you, I Bob. I had both a, a little gray squirrel and a fox squirrel, so you could see the difference between them. So from my little squirrel friends and everybody here at the studio, we'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friend. All righty, Let, let's, let's take a look. Wow. It looks kind of noticeable. It like, kind of, I don't know. I can see it. I, I can see it. I can see the mountain. I can see the trees. Um. Huh. I mean, it kind of works. Kinda. Kind. Hmm. I mean, I guess Bob Ross magic does work on everything, huh? You know what? Honestly, I I kind of want save or bitmap. Oh, this is a bitmap? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Forgot. I forgot. Hold on. You gotta save it as a bitmap and then... Yeah, this thing saves everything in bitmaps. Ah. Uh... Here. Uh... 
And we got to rename it. We got to reformat it to uh, PNG. Rename. Where, where's the rename? BMP is an uncompressed format, though. Here. I have I have a joke. Chat, are you ready? I, I have a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm looking at this more and more, and I'm thinking, man, this would be really funny if I just did... Hold on. <laughs> How do I hold on? Like the war of flack on the digital image, like wave of flack of the digital image world. Oh, really? Well, hold on. I have an idea here. I have a fucking. I have an idea. Hold on. <laughs> Let me do this. Sapia it. Uh huh. And auto level. Nope. Nope. We're just sapia. And save as. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. And then. <laughs> Ow. Wait, go. No, <laughs> get hurt. That hurt. She jumped off my lap when I said ow, by the way. All right, here. I'm waiting. I'm making, I'm setting up the joke. I'm setting up the joke. It's going to be, it's going to be stupid. It's going to be so stupid. It's not even going to be worth your time. You're, you're going to be like, why? It's another Undertale joke. <laughs> oh. It's always an Undertale joke in this channel. It's always <laughs> an Undertale joke. Uh, you know, here, let me, let me change this name. Let, let's give it, let's give Mount Ebbett a proper name. There we go. And then we just, there we go. And then... We just, we just speed it up. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? No. No, no. Mount Kumbo. That's so much better. That's so much better. There we go. There we go. Mount Kumbo. 
And here we here we go. Here, you know what, just to make this fucking more bittersweet. <laughs> Don't I have- I should have an image here somewhere, Flame. I mean, I have one of Luna. There we go. Boom. Transparent image? Ah, whatever. Fuck it. Here. Here. We'll, we'll just add this image. It's the most recent. It's the most it's the most successful one. <laughs> and then for fucking shits and giggles, I don't know why. Have a cat girl. Have has have uh, Esmeralda. There we go. We're making our own Undertale AU now. At this point. <laughs> um, where the fuck is Sriracha? <laughs> Where's this stupid motherfucker? I don't know. Uh, where the fuck is Sriracha? Oh, there he is. Let oh. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Here. Yes. <laughs> We're just making our own Undertale AU at this point. It, it, fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. Here, have Berdali. He's in the background. He's like right there. <laughs> Put Shy in there. Fuck it. Where 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 is Shy? No, you know what? Here, we'll add. Have M Chan. We're just we're just we're just making a shitty fucking Undertale AU at this point. Here we'll have we'll have M Chan. She's a confirmed monster. Okay, she's she's confirmed. Um, Pamp Incubus. Oh, you mean uh, fucking uh, what's his name, Saku? Here, where the fuck is Saku at? Where's this dumb lad? It's being sped up is kind of bopping though. There we go. There we go. Alright. One more. One more. One more. God, I, I, I hope sometime in the future this doesn't become a fucking like... I, I genuinely hope that nobody like makes this horrible fucking shitty AU. Like, I'm, I'm really hoping no. Fuck it, Lance I do. And then we'll have, we'll have Comstitute. And then fucking, uh, anime. Saku is legit like one of my favorite characters of yours. I appreciate it.
and then fuck it, we'll add we'll add Sleeza. There. Everyone is here. This is absolute fucking shit post level fuckery. This is this is um This is this is hell. I love him. Come der tail. <laughs> We'll just add- we'll just add that as the title. Fuck it. There you go. <laughs> the AU to beat all AUs. Come their tail. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is this is th that joke went way too long. Let let's go back to fucking. Let let's go <laughs> here. Let's do one more. Jesus fucking Christ! Not. <laughs> I really hope no one actually like ends up making that into a real fucking end game. I I please don't. Oh, oh fuck. Oh fuck my arm my mic arm. Wow. Okay, hold on. Hold on. My mic arm just decided to fall. fucking mic arm my mic arm fell i guess you could say that was the power of cumdertail bob ross cumdertail edition all right i'll shut up i'll shut up with the undertale jokes holy shit okay one more we'll, we'll do one more real quick here, uh, which one am I gonna do? This one has a picture of fucking... Of, uh... This one has a picture of Bob holding a- holding, I think, a, what is a squirrel, by the way. Yeah, look at this image. I think I'm gonna do this one. Just because of this image. Look at this fucking image. Oh, shit. No, this is the real Cumbertail. This is the real Cumbertail. The real... This is the real Cumbertail! No, this is this is the this is uh this is the better quality come to tail. This is the slower version.
fond of squirrels? I suppose. I think he likes squirrels. I think he just likes animals in general, to be honest. Would make sense. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a third monitor if I'm ever gonna do this this segment again. <laughs> also, does that say season thirty? Why, yes, it does. Season thirty, episode ten. I was like wondering why my fucking my <laughs> leg was not moving. It was because uh, Wix literally in the way. Also, what the fuck happened to my... What happened here? Whoa! Most shows can't even get five. Well, that shows how fucking wellly beloved Bob Ross was. I, I don't know what to say. I'm trying I'm trying to get this to fucking work. There we go. Man, OBS has not been fucking polite not been nice with me about this today, huh? That's not like this segment one bit. Here. There we go. I blame Cumdertail. <laughs> Okay, transition that real quick. There we go. All right. All right, you ready? Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. I thought today we'd do a little seascape, one that's real easy, and I believe you're going to enjoy it. Let's start out and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, <laughs> let me show you this crazy canvas I got up here today. Today I've taken my standard old 18 by 24 inch canvas, but I've painted the top with alizarin crimson acrylic. Let me say that again. It hold, hold on, Bob. Hold the fuck up. You can't just do this and cheat and be like ahead of everyone. Motherfucker. You, you... Bob, what the fuck, my guy? So what? We, do, we Is that tape? That's tape. So, here, here's what we're going to do. There we go. Okay, you just... Bob, what the fuck? You can't just do that. Okay, you can't just do that and expect people to follow through. At the fucking colossal speed that you have, my guy. Like, you just can't do that. That's, that's not okay. It's acrylic on top, and the bottom is black gesso. Then I've covered the entire thing with a very thin coat of the liquid clear. Down here on the bottom, I've taken a little Prussian blue and sap green and ran across just a little bit. And down here, a little brown made from alizarin crimson and sap green. So there's brown on the bottom, there's sort of a blue green here, and this just has clear on it, and we'll play. All right, <laughs> just getting the introduction there was a biggie. Let's take a little titanium white, and then I'm going to come right around here, get a little bit of the midnight black, and I'm going to make a gray color. Just white okay. and black, or black and white, whatever your preference. Now that okay, we got right gray. Here. And I'm just going to just going to dance in a few little areas here and there. Just a light gray color. I don't want to cover up all this red, but here and there, I want to have just some little indications. The white is very opaque. But if you get it thin enough, the red will still show through. It'll oh, fuck. Oh, I forgot. If you click tape. both of them at the same time, this, that happens. Ah, fuck. There. Something about like that. That's basically all we're looking for. Just some little indications here and there. All right. Once again, I don't want to kill all this red. I want it to come through the color. So you need to really thin it out. And because the liquid clear is on there, you can get this very thin, and it'll work out for you very nicely. Okay. All right. There. So, now, this is what we're doing, Bob, blue, huh? I'm going to take a very, very small amount of phthalo blue. Just a little bit on the old two-inch brush. 
very small amount. I just want to tint the sky here and there with a little phthalo blue. Mm -hmm. Not much, not much. Be careful. Once again, I don't want to lose this reddish aura that we have through the entire painting. Just want to add a little blue here and there. But once again, not much. Maybe a little okay. red here. I got you. Just wherever. Wherever. And we'll sort of play back and forth as we work. Now then. All right. Okay, time to wash the old brush because that's the fun part. Beat the devil out of it? All right, Bob. Really I'm ready to beat the devil out of it. Brush. Shake off the excess. <laughs> Beating the devil out of it. Beating there we the go. There we go. Let's build this today a happy little cloud. I'm going to take a little titanium white. Right on the old two-inch brush. Same old brush. And let's go up in here. And let's just drop in the indication of some little clouds that live up in here. Maybe wherever. It doesn't much matter. Wherever you think they should live, that's exactly where they should be. Okay. Just some basic little shapes. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a, a blender brush here. This is a very, very soft little blender brush. It allows you just to blend these things together. That easy. That easy. Okay. All right, All right Bob. I see what you're doing here. Let's see how easy We're it is to clouds. make a fantastic little cloud. You can do this. All you need is a little practice, the right equipment, and off you go. A little bit harder to do with the mouse, Bob. That, that I'll be honest with. So unique and so wonderful. Is it anybody can do it? You don't. You don't have to be blessed by Michelangelo. At mm -hmm. Right. You can create a beautiful painting. Oh, I'm, I'm trying, Bob, but it ain't working. All right. right. Maybe another little happy cloud lives right here. Notice we're doing them in layers, though. Now, then, mm -hmm. back to my little blender. La, la, la. And there we are. Just blend it away. Blend it away. Wherever you want it to go. There. See, but this keeps the edge nice and firm there by doing it in layers. So don't get greedy. I know. Oh, I'm getting greedy, all right. I'm getting fucking super greedy with this. All at one time. But take your time. Take your time. Just try to do one at a time. There. Maybe. Just let me right. dance around. Maybe it comes right out here. Wherever. We're going to have some big clouds in the sky today. We're going to stop and let Bob catch up a bit. And drop them in. A little too fast. It's really that easy. Just tap them in. There's even a little bit goes off in here somewhere. Back to our little blender. That's all I'm doing, just picking up the blender. And then we'll begin putting these together. Oh, shows getting me up to gen to get to five. Very yeah, I mean, it just shows how Bob is like very influential. There. That little blender brush, though. It's so soft, you can go right over the paint without mixing it all up. That's how influential Bob there we go. is, just you know? Those edges out to their very quiet. You almost don't see them. They just sort of disappear. There we are. About like half. That's all we need. That's all we need. Mm. Already has looking like a pretty nice little sky. All right. I like to do skies like this. They're a lot of fun. Little totally little doesn't look like what he's got, by the way. I think we'll just put another happy little cloud in there. More clouds. He comes around like that. Goes off. Hush. You make a decision. In your world, you decide where everything lives. The clouds, the sky, little birds. There. Oh, probably no. <laughs> you know, in one of the earlier shows, a couple of the earlier shows, I showed one of my little baby squirrels that I'm raising right now. And we've had so many people write and say, I want to see him again. So I'm going to put up a little bit of footage here and let you just check out my little squirrel. This is the one we call Peapod Jr. Cause he's oh, nice look at him. In my shirt, too. Look at him. He reminds me of Twix. Isn't he a mess? He looks like Twix. I love these little rascals. They're so much fun to feed and to, to play with and to work with. It creates a whole new awareness of nature when you work with little animals like this. Probably in every town nearly in the country. There are people who work with injured and orphaned animals. And this is, this is where I w get all these little animals that you see. I try to work with these people and help them out. Any way I can make their life a little easier. And they allow oh, me to so share cute. 
just what you see. He's right so there. cute. Here, you know, we're gonna have some of God's little creatures around here. Really adorable. Here. By the time you see this, it's gonna be like right here. In backyard. Because we do. There we go. We do not keep these little animals. These are wild animals, and they're meant to live outside, and that's where we put them. There we go. There he is. Hopefully, he'll hang around the back. Gonna have a little squirrel friend there. To, to share his world for a little while. You're gonna share. You're gonna share his world with him. The neatest eater in the world, is he? But that's okay. Every year, I raise several of these little rascals and turn them loose. There. Just gives you a good feeling. All I'm doing is just putting in some clouds while you're watching little Peapod Junior there. All right. He wouldn't share either. You notice that? He just doesn't want to share. Totally his. None of that's for me. Okay. I think we have, we about have a little sky finish. I hope you enjoy All right. those little critters because they really are fun. And they're very important in my life. So I took a little touch of the phthalo blue and just added right there. Just a little touch. All right. Now, I have a little piece of masking tape here just to protect. I have a little bit of an extra variety. challenge. Twix is on my lap right now. The reason it's there. Little touch I have her on my lap and um, I already have white on this moving around, there, so making this a lot harder. Isn't that a wild sky? Mm. I bet there's a storm coming here. All right. Now then, I get to wash the old brush again. That's really all I wanted to do. We wash our brushes, as you know, in odorless paint thinner. Mm -hmm. Shake off the excess. <laughs> And just beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil. Okay. I'm going to take off this little piece of masking tape. See, now that way my horizon line is nice and straight and very even. And that was Prussian blue and sap green. I want to add just a touch more. And a lot of blue. Where the piece of tape Like was. as if you were green, you would die. There. Just adding a little bit more. Like that. Okay. We're in business. I thought today, let's play a little bit. Seascapes give some people a, a hard time. They're not the easiest thing in the world to paint. So let's make a let's make a seascape that's a little easier to do today. We're going to use the small knife a lot, and I'm going to take a little roll of paint, and I'm going to start out by just figuring out basically here where my major wave will be. I want one big crasher wave. It comes right up here. Maybe it bends over like that. And maybe there's a little duder there, and off sort of like it. That's really about all we're looking for. That's just a shape to tell us where the old big wave's going to live in our world. Okay, like so we're just doing the shapes. All right, well, lives there. there we go. A lot of pressure on the knife, bending it, bending it. Okay. Not too crazy. It's the knife's pretty strong. You're not going to break. All right. It. I will take a number three fan. Oh, I probably should have not put the squirrel there. Here, we're going to put the, the squirrel protect gently. zone right here. Just blend that protect the squirrel up. zone right there. That That's where he just is. Just enough. Just enough to do that. See? We don't want to lose. It's the dark area right here that's important. Don't lose it. Hang on to it. It's a good friend. Just blend a little bit of that color back. Just a little. See? Don't get too crazy. I know. I know. It gets It gets nice. And a little bit in here, a little bit there. Now, okay. I will have that little brush going. I'll take a little more titanium white. And back in here, I'm just going to put some little indications of some little strokes. That right. Make it look like little distant waves far, far away. Uh-huh. Something about like so. Hmm. We're not too worried about these. So we're just going to so bring it all the way up here then? The all right, Bob, I got you. Here. I got you, man. I understand. You want you want your waves up That's on top too. Need. It gives the indication that something's happening. Makes sense. Here. Other than that, not too. Makes worried. a lot of sense to me, my guy. I I support it. Now then, let's have some fun. Let's, let's have some fun. Some oh boy, I like fun. White. Some white. You want white? I got white. We can do white. Now we said that this water was going to come around here like this. All we're going to do is just touch and give a little pull. Give a little pull. Like that. There. 
that's going to be the top of that wave. Grab my little number three pen brush again. And I'm just going to barely touch this and give it a little tiny pull over like so. Oi. That's all I'm going to do to that. Now, we need an eye in the wave. Or as it's commonly known, the pretty part. So we'll take a little titanium white and go right up in here. And oh. just begin rubbing with a knife. Just rub it. Like that. Okay. Oh, so I see. All you have to do is rub it. It'll get as smooth. And the effect. Okay. A little bit of the... I'm fucking that up. Cadmium yellow, a little white. And we'll put a little touch right in here. And rub that. I see. I see. There. Looks like sunlight just zipping right through there. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just put... Did you... Just like so. Fuck. But already, see, it's beginning to give the impression of a wave. It's that easy. Uh, what? Bob. Okay. I mean, I know sea foam is like, a little thing you know. Blue, alizarin crimson, proportionally much, much more crimson. Much more crimson than the blue. Red? All right. Let's grab a little white and put it in there so I can see what color I've got. Ooh, I like that. I like that color. Nice one. Sometimes mm -hmm. it just works. Wonderful. And we'll come right in here. And we'll put a little little indication, maybe a shadow. Oh, oh, we're doing like a blue. There, and just rub it in. It's gonna mix with that color that's on the canvas. This uh that this kinda of reminds me of like Shasta, so the Shasta cans. Comes right up here and breaks the like the nineties Shasta cans, you know what I'm talking about? Just splash it up in the sky. About like that. We don't know where it's going yet. We'll make that decision in a little while. Take a little thalo blue. Gafta? Oh my god. A little bit of white. There. Talking about soda, then chat's like, ha ha, furry shaft! Bluish color, maybe a little dark. Ooh woo! About like that. That's pretty nice. I like it. My leaf face. All right. There, now we have several different values. Let me just put my shaft in your mouth. Ooh, woo. And we could begin thinking about maybe there's a little duder that comes right there. I know. I didn't make any sense yet. Watch, watch, watch. Now watch. It'll come. It'll come. Here comes the water coming right down. We can just put all kinds of little things in there. Just blend them together. Like, I'm just, just trying like to be normal fantastic things in, like, chats, like, uh, fucking... If. Just rub it. <laughs> I like to do entire paintings using nothing but the knife when I'm at home. But that's hard to do on television with the limited time frame that we have. But you can do the entire painting with nothing but the knife. You really can. All right. Take a little bit of the titanium white. Insert dick joke here. Well, if it isn't dick joke, it's cum jokes. If it isn't cum jokes, it's poop jokes. If it ain't poop jokes, it's burp jokes. Something about like so. Now then, let's take them. I'm just using the knife here. And I'm just going it to ain't that. It's Esmeralda cum. Let that water splash. Which by proxy is just, is just. It comes over. Just boom. Make little sound effects when you do this. It really helps. Get you in the mood. Think about being about a day at the ocean dude if you don't live close to the ocean then just sort of imagine it painting is is imagination anyway it's imagination that you can see there but that easy you can make a an indication of just a happy little foam five jokes <laughs> yeah yeah welcome to the channel there's five jokes and they're all fucking all right. bad <laughs> Be a hit known there. Let's take some of our browns, Van Dyke, Dark Santa, mixed together. Throw us black in there too. I want it dark. Maybe, yeah. Let's put us a nice rock right here. Boom dong, fat there pimp, is. Gregory. <laughs> Just a big old happy rock. Gotta have something for all this to splash on. Gregory. <laughs> there I go making a noise again. I'm sorry, I get carried away making noises. Fucking Christ. He was to record me at home when I'm oh shit, I didn't even realize he has like a mountain there. Yeah. Holy fuck. In a big old oh oh fuck. I didn't even realize he had a mountain there. Make weird little noises. 
but they said, uh, you, know, um, you know, that Bob, he's a painter. They, painters are sort of strange, so, so it's okay. Take a little black, a little white, a little brown, mixed all together. There. Now I want to come right in here, and I'm just still just using the knife. Just going to sort of put the indication of a stone here. I have to, have to keep wiping the knife off. Just wipe off the excess paint. Then just by, just by rubbing it, you can begin to create the illusion of all kinds of things happening here. Okay. And painting okay. is nothing more than games of illusion. That's really all it is. Uh, uh, On a flat surface, you make it look like there's all right. depth and dimension. That's what it's all about. We'll take a little white, a little touch of the thalo blue, not much. Just very a little gently, bit of blue? Very gently. Just begin bringing these two together. Just, okay. just churning and fighting and crashing and carrying on there. There we are. See? Something about like that. All right. Now, let's find, there's one. We'll take a little Indian yellow some white and just mix them together Indian yellow is a very bright yellow hey, Go yellow. In here maybe. this yellow where are we putting this back maybe maybe shoot right there right there huh put some reflection right in the water about like that now if you start in the brightest area and work out automatically it'll pick up that color underneath and get darker and darker as it works out a little more color lightest area and then we work outward 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 that easy see it gets darker and darker automatically now we'll go across just like we're making reflections because that's what it is it's just a reflected color now already it looks wet <laughs> like it right now then time to start having some fun here take a little white a little blue and maybe a little bit of blue firm pressure right along in here my cap firm firm pressure there looking horrible <laughs> this is so bad work it. but isn't that a neat way to make a little seascape and as i say if you've had trouble with seascapes before this might be the answer to your problem because it's very simple it works it's very simple. Put another little this is very there. simple. Firm pressure. I want that nice edge to be there. And you that, the did you hear that? It's just simple. There. Running around something like that. A few of these little duders we can bring them. Mm -hmm. See, it's up to you. You make the decisions. You make the decisions. Seizures. All right, all right, all right. Well, he said seizures, so uh, start filming at the mouth chat. That's what you're good at. Just all kinds of little things happening in here. Pick up a little of that color and bring it down. It creates the way the water is going to flow. That easy. All right. I get carried away when I do these because I like them. I like to do these little rascals, and I like to paint with a knife. These, mm -hmm. It's really, I don't, as I say, when you're at home, you can paint entire paintings using nothing but the knife. Try it. I'm going to be completely Try honest, it. chat. This looks like nothing. Take more of the blue and white. This shakes like a swish. Yeah, a little roll of paint. I want one more of those little doodles. <laughs> There's right here. Uh, that's funny. Like it. So it just goes right on off the canvas. Gives us a little more depth. Yeah, I kind of want to order pizza. Put a few little things. I want now we can pizza. take pizza brush and very gently. I want pizza chat, but I don't want to like right across the the water there. Spend money. <laughs> oh my god. Pull it back. Just grab that color. That needs to go pretty uh -oh. straight. You don't want your water to look You're, like you know what? Side of a mountain or something. It needs to go fairly straight. Matt, why don't you make a pizza for me? How about this? How about after this, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on Domino's, and are you gonna give me like? 
You're gonna uh, like cheap pizza. Time. Domino's is cheap pizza. Okay. All right. Send me a photograph of your painting. And you get you guys give me ingredients, and then like I'll order it. Okay. People Fuck it. All over the country, marvelous, marvelous paintings. I want to brighten that so it stands out. Looks like the water's coming over a little bit. This this looks like shit. By the way. It's up to you. You decide where all these little rascals live. Well, Bob, I'm doing a really piss poor job. It's too crazy. That's because my stomach is is, is a rumbly. All right. As I mentioned, we could take the script liner brush, a little paint thinner. I'm using white with a touch of just a touch. Extra pep pepperoni, extra barbecue yeah, sauce, no cheese. There's got to be cheese on it, though, chat. That, that, that's the rule. There has to be cheese. Really special, fantastic looking. Get that easy. Just thin the paint down with paint thinner, and then it'll slide right over here. There, see? Once again, I think this is one of the easiest seascapes we've ever come up with. A lot of fun Doesn't work with cheese. You really can do this one. Trust me. We'll have a little do it. Just comes right down the wave. Okay. Well, when we get to it. Anywhere you want them. There we go. Get to it. And you can put as much detail in your world as you want, or you can stop right there. You know, right where it was. Right. Take a little of that lavender color. Lavender. And I just want to highlight right around the edge of that. That little dark line will help set everything off. Oh wait, hold on. And even under here, if you put a dark line, it'll apparently project up. Just put a dark line under all those little things right no. get. And I think what this is legit my in. standard Domino's order, we'll by the way. This one. Really? I'll call it finished. Hope you've enjoyed this little seascape. It's a lot of fun, and I'd love to see what you're doing. If you do have time, send me a picture. All right, let's let's take a look at what hell we have. Um, what the fuck happened here, Bob? I mean, I know I was hungry, but like, huh? Uh huh. Huh. Uh, I don't see water. I see Rainbow Road gone fucked up, and hell has all breaking loose in the sky. And then there's jagged, like, peaks. And then there's a squirrel. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alright. Alright. Here. I'm hungry, right? That was, that was the Bob Ross stuff. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. Right? However... How am I going to order a pizza without doxing myself? Hmm. 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 Uh, I don't know. How, how does one... It's a... You know, wanting to, to kill yourself. Doxing yourself. That's the same difference. Hmm. Hmm. Build the pizza and stop capturing actual ordering part. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Here. We'll do this. Okay. Start my order. Uh yeah. Delivery. Okay, hold on. Ow. Apartment. Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute.
Let's see if they find this, okay? Okay, hold on. I'm putting in my I'm putting in my fucking address. Build your own pizza. Okay. Um I'm gonna do a medium because I don't want to, to fucking like, you know. I don't wanna die. Right, okay, here, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me grab this. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to do this, right? Uh-huh. I swear, I swear to God, I'm letting chat make the pizza. This is, this is going to fucking not be okay. okay. What? Move. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm figuring this out. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Um. No, you know what? I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do like a small. I'm gonna do a small because like fuck it. Like, so chat. Let let's single handedly build this in peace. Okay. Hand toss, crunchy, thin, or gluten free. Waiting for chat. I'm gonna let them make this, okay? And then I'm gonna have the the joy of destroying this. Okay. Cheese. See, it won't. It doesn't give me the option. It gives me the option of. Oh, okay. It does give me the option. You don't put cheese on. No cheese. Okay. What kind of sauce? We got robust. We got hearty marinara, we got honey BBQ, garlic, alfredo, and cranch. BBQ? Okay. And then you said, light, normal, or extra? Extra? All right. Okay. So, uh, all right. So we got ham, we got beef, we got salami, pepperoni, Italian sausage, uh, chip, chimkin. We got bacon and a, f a filet steak. What what are we doing? What what are we what are we doing? Pepperoni and bacon, if you're so inclined. Okay. So we're doing bacon. Doing pepperoni. And you know what? Because I'm a whore, I'm gonna put my salami on there. Do you put this extra on all three? Fuck it. Extra. We'll put. Okay. We got any non meats? Hot buffalo sauce. Provolone. Yapaleno, uh, cheese, onions, pe green peppers, banana peppers, uh, roasted red peppers, diced tomatoes, olives, feta. You know what? Chat, I know you're going to tell me no cheese, but I like my feta. I'm just going to put a light amount of feta, though. Okay? Nah. Nah. Let me have, let me have my feta, okay? And then I'm going to put a little bit of onion. Some onions. Okay. I gotta have some veggies, okay? I can't be as constipated as I was the other day. No more fucking, uh, 
Magnesium citrate. No more. Fine. All right. All right. So that's that. All right. That that's that. I won't complain about the onions. <laughs> I'm the one eating it. Okay. I don't need any of this extra shit. I really don't need any of this extra shit. 15 bucks, by the way. What the fuck? Like, I really don't need any of this extra shit. I just want my, my pizza pizza. But 21 fucking dollars for a small pie. That's cheap. That's like cutting my dick off cheap. Fuck inflation, man. Thanks, Biden. It will be a contactless delivery. You can suck my nuts. That's fine. I don't care if it's... I don't care. Uh, can it, it turn off gift card deals. I... No. Fucking honey, man. Onions are delicious. Uh, I'll sign up later. Blue. Building second floor. I don't, that, that, those are details I don't fucking There we go. I, I, you know what, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really fucking believe in tips. But you have to understand, I grew up in Europe, where, you know, technically, people get paid what they're supposed to be getting paid. Tips are United States' way of saying, like, yeah, we, ha we don't want to fucking pay our people properly. So, but, of course, I will give a tip. Because Americans are the center of the world, and they believe their fucking morality shit is is uh is more important than more important than paying their people properly. Please log in PayPal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I just get cash back from this anyway, so it it's alright. And then place my order. And Alright, it's 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 um It's on its way. And a guy named Gabriel is preparing my order. But it will be here uh, somewhere sometime. Alrighty. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do our BRB real quick and uh <laughs> and then uh We'll uh we'll do uh chub chomp chill next. I think that's fitting of uh of a of a stream. And then when the pizza shows up, and then I'll try the pizza. Okay, I'm here. I'm here with the pit with the pizza. The pizza. Actually, you know what? Here before I even even go even to that territory here, we need we need pizza. We need uh. Where the fuck is this image? That where the fuck is Pritza Waifu? There she is. There. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know what the fuck, but my pizza guy literally looked like fucking uh show you the pizza i don't even have my give me a minute but uh legit my uh my fucking uh my pizza guy looked like fucking mr beast i i'm not even <laughs> i'm just looking at him and he's looking down and looking at me and i'm like you look like a twink version of mr beast <laughs> 
literally he had his like face and beard and everything and I'm just like Okay, please tell me this isn't real. And it's like, no, he looked like Mr. Beast, but he had the fucking deep ass southern accent and he looked like a twink and I'm just like Oh. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute, I'll show you the pizza. Hold on. a minute give give giveth me i'm gonna i haven't even opened the box yet so i'm gonna open the box and holy fucking shit that is that is uh that actually smells really good holy fuck here um hold on oh. i'm gonna send you guys send it to my computer this actually smells really good. Holy, holy fucking shit! This actually smells really good. It looks really good too. Yeah, you guys know how to. You guys know how to. You guys know how to please please a person. Where the fuck is my uh? There we go. I, I this is the first time I had to upload. Hitting you, by the way. I'm telling you, this shit is angelic. Hold on. Opening. Okay, locate. Okay, I got this. Drive. Pull this up. Download that. Then, oh, it's not pulling it. That way I could change the fucking format of this. God damn it, Apple. Why, why do we need to have our own special little format? Yes, that's fine. And of course it's not pulling up. Of course. When in doubt, screenshot. Boom. Boom. Apple, how hard is it to be just iOS? How hard is it to just to be friendly to people? Like, I use your product not because I, not because it was forced to me, but because I chose to. Oh, shit. Hold on. That, that, that. <laughs> Here. There we go. That, that's the pie, by the way. That, that, that's what... You guys. Why? Because screw the consumer. Consume! Well, by proxy, I'm literally just saying consume. I'm literally consuming product at the moment because Domino's is a name brand. So really, in essence, I'm, as per usual, I'm saying fuck small businesses. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not even a big fan of Domino's. I, I, I don't even like, I'm from New York. I, I need my local pizza. But I'm in New Mexico right now, so I can't have it. Anyway, I'm going to take a slice real quick and I'm going to eat it. Let us find out what... Oh, oh my god. I... Oh. Holy fuck. Dude, all this meat. All this fucking meat. It's like dripping. It looks so thick because it's so small. Dude, it's like dripping in grease right Mm. Okay. I mean, I'm really just tasting meat and barbecue.
It's meaty and saucy and delicious. It, it kind of is, yeah. I can see it. Is it like 20 bucks delicious? Not really. But it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think my main issue with it, though, is is that you're trying to keep all the toppings on it, and that's what good the cheese. That's what the cheese is for. Usually, it's a bind shit together. But with this, is a little hard to. Like, I feel like everything. My guess is that it was all the extra. That's probably what it is. I mean, it's really good. Though I bet it would taste better if it was like, I don't know, cold. Cheese ruins the flavor and texture, just doesn't work with barbecue. How about that? I will say though, their barbecue sauce has more kick than spice, or kick than flavor. I don't like that. Like, if it is honey barbecue, then why am I tasting more kick? No sense, you know? I mean, I'm not going to complain. This is a really good pizza from you guys, but... This is weird. I'm not used to eating pizza without cheese. All right, like... This is a foreign concept to me. Like, really, it honestly is. Probably a little better, to be honest, because that BBQ can get hot, not, like, spicy hot. And you doubted me. I was the one with the idea of saying, hey, chat, make a pie for me. <laughs> A little better, not spicy like hot. No, oh, it is like their barbecue sauce is a little kicky. Like it's like really kicky. Like I like my barbecue sauce to have a little bit of kick, but not like that. You know what I mean? Like this is still burning my mouth. Welcome to the world of weird pizza. Yeah, next you're going to tell me, ha ha, put pineapple and bananas and, and apple juice and candy. You know what? Joke's on you. <clears throat> Past this point, it gets just too weird. Oh, trust me. I know. I'm just, I was about to go into a story about weird pizza. I mean, like temp hot. <clears throat> so on my 21st birthday, I, when I was in New York, I think I saw the image here. Hold on. When I was in New York, um, do I have the image here? I should. No, that, that's not it. That's not it. 
That's the Etika Memorial stuff. Oh, hold on. That's not it. Oh, I didn't take a picture of it. I just took a picture of the cocktail. What? Ah, uh, anyway. Regardless. So for my 21st birthday, um, I went down to the pier, right? And uh, by the way, just out of just out of nowhere. Nutella coffee. Fucking awesome. I miss shit like this. Anyway. <clears throat> so. There used to be. um, There was a pier. There's a restaurant down on by the pier that I went to. And uh, they had a pizza called uh, a candy margarita pizza. Which literally is what the name implies. It's literally pizza with cotton candy flavored margarita sauce with cheese. Like, sweet cheese. Like, a sweet cheese. Like, you don't think cheese and you think, oh, it's sweet. No, this was sweet cheese. Hard candy, jelly beans, and then on top of that, fucking M&M's. Oh, and by the way, cotton candy. And, um... I reluctant... Oh, and by the way, it also had pina colada in, in the sauce as well. But, um... Anyway... Yeah, it was a uh, it was a clusterfuck of a uh, of a of a fucking <laughs> of a um of a pizza. So I'm not I'm familiar with pizza being weird. Um, there are just some things you just don't do with pizza, but that was one of them. And uh, I was asleep on the on the train back home the entire time. I almost choked on bacon. Good. I thought you meant margarita, like the actual kind of pizza, not margarita. No, no. Although, margarita is my favorite type of pie outside of white pies. Like that pie has my fuck has a soft spot for me. You don't even know. Eat it later. All right. Yeah, it was actual margarita. Yeah, it was um, it was a clusterfuck. It was a, it was a clusterfuck of a pizza. Uh, that I had on my twenty first birthday. You know, speaking of uh images, from from there, um. Man, I just look ridiculous. No, oh, yeah. Here's 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 a uh, here's a more depressing image. I don't know why having a Pixel phone it it literally did this. There. Yeah. Yeah, so I wasn't really bullshitting by the way. Also, my fucking hair. Dude, I had some of the worst fucking hair ever. Like my hair was out of control. Oh, here's one more image. Just just for shits and giggles. If there's ever a reason why I miss New York. There's just one more image. I miss, I miss fucking living in New York, dude. I do. 
Fumi Fufi. I do miss New York so fucking much. I actually took this image, by the way. Probably my favorite image, honestly. Well, it would be if it wasn't fucking like that. <sighs> Whatever. Basically, yeah, you get the gist of it. All right. Let me go put this, uh... Let me go put this uh, fridge, this, uh, pizza in the fridge, and then I'll begin. Give me a minute. <laughs> 